Hello and welcome to our next video. In this video we will set up a Sonoff ZigBee 3.0 USB dongle plus on Home Assistant using ZigBee to MQTT. ZigBee to MQTT is more complex than the default ZHA integration, however it allows much greater control and access to data from your devices. It supports a wider range of devices and also allows firmware updates. You'll need the USB dongle. You may also need a USB extension lead. It's optional, but I recommend this to both remove strain from the device and to minimize interference by moving it away from other signals. You'll also need Home Assistant. For many installations, this will just work, but for Proxmox or another hypervisor, you will need to pass through the device to the virtual machine. See the description for a link to how to do this. You might also need access to the terminal. If needed, install the SSH and terminal add-on. Once plugged in, you'll have a new devices discovered notification. Click on this. It will have discovered the Zigbee dongle and will offer to set this up. Click on the three dots. Click ignore. It will ask you to confirm. Click ignore again. We need to set up an MQTT broker before installing Zigbee to MQTT. To do this, click on settings then add-ons. Click on add-on store. Click the mosquito broker. Click install. When it's complete, go to settings, add-ons and click the add-on store button again. Click the three dots at the top right and select repository. In the add section, enter the URL shown on the screen. Click add. Click close. Click the ZigBee to MQTT add-on. Click install. Now we need to add a user for ZigBee to MQTT to use. But before that, make sure you've got advanced mode switched on in your profile. Click on your name to set this. Go to settings. Click people. Click users. Click add user. Add details. I used MQTT user. MQTT underscore user for the username. Type the password twice. Enable local logon only. Click create. Click settings, add-ons and ZigBee to MQTT. Go to the configuration tab. In the MQTT section, enter details in the format shown. User and password is what you set for the user. The IP address should match the IP address of your Home Assistant installation. Click Save. We will also need to establish a serial port for the Zigbee dongle. To do this, click on Terminal or connect using SSH. Enter the command as shown on the screen. This will check the message log for anything containing TTY. We're looking for an entry that corresponds to the CP210X converter. What we're interested in is the TTY USB port number, in this case TTY USB 0. Make a note of this. Go to settings, add-ons and ZigBee to MQTT. Go to the configuration tab. In the serial section, enter port colon slash dev slash TTY USB followed by the number noted. Click save. Click settings, add-ons and mosquito broker. Enable the watchdog and click start. Check the log for any errors. Click Settings, Devices and Services.
Click on Configure in the MQTT integration. Click Submit, then click Finish. Click Settings, then Add-ons. Click Zigbee to MQTT. Enable the watchdog and show in sidebar. Click Start. After a few seconds, check the log. You are looking for connected to MQTT server. Click refresh if it isn't shown yet. Click Zigbee to MQTT in the sidebar. You should be presented with a screen as shown here. Click permit join. This will start the search for devices. Put a device in pairing mode. This is normally achieved by pressing a button for a few seconds or poking a hole. After a few seconds the device will be found. Ignore the error here, I'd already configured these devices. First a temperature sensor. Then a motion sensor. Finally, a door sensor. The devices will be given a random string as a friendly name. Click on this and it will give you the option of giving a more meaningful name. Once done, we'll create a dashboard to display the devices. Click Settings and Dashboard. Click Add Dashboard. Give it a name and pick an icon. Then click Create. Click the dashboard to see the sensor data. You can edit these or rearrange them or even select different cards. A future video will cover dashboards so we won't go into detail here. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you found it useful and click subscribe to see more. If you have any comments or ideas for future videos please leave a comment below.